All right, here we go. We're live. What's up, guys? Okay, we're gonna let a few people get in here. Gonna adjust a few things too here with the camera. Bear with me, guys, while I adjust a few things. Hey, Kyle, what's up, buddy? box in the house what's up Hori just getting a few things dialed in guys here for the 4th of July live stream anyways guys let me know if you can hear me in the chat please got the mic on just want to make sure you can uh, you can hear me loud and clear What's up, guys? John, how you doing? Job, Kyle, what's going on, Ben? That's always the first question, huh, Ben? Hold on, let me uh, let me get something in here. Guys, hold on. Let's get on this boat, though. Guys. Let's give the people what they want to see, of course. Oh, yeah, it's a scorcher, guys. I mean, it's 90, what, 92, I think, over here? 92 degrees, so definitely a scorcher today. Uh, invincible passing by. Triple Yamaha is out back. As you guys can see, the sandbar, okay. The sandbar has got it going on today. The sandbar is packed. I passed by and it was it was a lot of boats out there. Alabama is in the house. Buffalo, New York. Port Orange, Florida. You guys are everywhere. I love seeing my Florida peeps. What's going on, brother? You want a Gatorade? Here, open up right here. Hey, man. Hey, what's up? You got one right here. Oh. I got blue. Oh, you got blue? So I got yeah, they're all blue, so you just grab oh, one. Okay, yeah. All right. I'll see you. Yep. Just the last one? All right, nah, my bad, guys. Montreal, nice, Montreal in the house. Love the channel. Hey, Charles, thanks. Seth, it's all about the you. You know it, Seth. Everybody knows that, though. You know, we know. We know. We know, bro. Italy, wow, man. I, I love that. Italy, that's amazing. Hey, let me know. In Italy, um, you know, I'm always looking for places that have inlets, you know. It's just so hard to find something like Hallover, guys. Um, the boat traffic and all that plays into it. It's just so difficult. Haul over is, is truly one of a kind. Um, all right, we got something coming in. Let's, let, me, let me zoom out so you guys don't get dizzy. Yeah. 
Happy 4th of July, everyone. What's up, guys? Where am I? I'm at the world-famous Hallover Inlet. Come on, you know where I'm at, bro. For those who don't know, Hallover Inlet is located in Bow Harbor. It's between Bow Harbor, Florida, and Hallover. I don't think Hallover is actually a, a city or a county. I don't know. A municipality. Anyways, Miami, I guess you can, you can just narrow it down to Miami. We're Miami, boys. Hallover isn't firing today? No. There's been a lot of boat traffic, though. There's no waves, but there's boat traffic. I might bring you two streams today, guys. Um, we might stream here for a little while. And then I got another location that I've been wanting to take you guys to. So for those of you that stick around, that are fans of the, of, the, of the live stream, you get to hang out with me at another location today. Drunk boaters today? Oh yeah, we, we got Captain Tobo on speed dial, so if we see anything, we know. Let me show you guys a little bit of the north side so you can see what we're working with beach-wise. North side is packed today. Got a lot of people enjoying the beach. Mr. Red Top, you know how Red Top is. He he comes out all the time, so Red Top should be here shortly, if I had to guess. Guys, look at this, man. Look at this big boy. That is a one big, beautiful boat. What else we got? What else we got, boys? We got the Axopar. Oh, boy. Got to keep my eye on the wake today, because since we don't have waves, what we have is wake. So all the oncoming boat wake, it's the only action we're going to get today, unless something ridiculous happens. Guys, we gotta get them. Thank you, Hori. I appreciate you. You leaving? I'll be on for a while. I'm sure when you get home, I'll still be on. is calm. Gray Dunn says, I'm watching from Colorado. Nice. What is this? Is this a fountain? What is this? It's kind of cool. It's a nice boat. Take care. Have a great day. Happy 4th, man. Hori Box was here just hanging out with me, guys. Super cool guy. Check out his channel if you haven't. He also does some live streams here and there.
Jay Holden, love watching the channel, Memphis, Tennessee. What's up, Jay? Thank you, brother. I'm glad you enjoy the content. I wasn't going to stream today, guys, um, but I did get some messages and I saw some comments and I know that you guys uh, wanted to see what this place looked like on the 4th. And since nobody else live streams, then I said, why not, right? However, um, I pretty much going to be live streaming on rough days, guys. And, you know, not every rough day either, because I got other angles, other things I'm doing. I might be in a different location. But on, on flat days like today, it's hard to, um, I don't know, it's just not my, my cup of tea. It's not my favorite time to live stream, you know. I'm somebody, you guys that were here for the last live stream, you guys realize that um, you saw how animated I was. You saw how the boat action was. It all came together, and, um, and it was fun. It was a fun experience, not, not only for me, but I'm sure for you guys as well that were interacting. And that's kind of... That's what I enjoy. I enjoy that more than being here on a flat day recording 300 boats. See what else we got here boys we got i mean there's gonna be a bunch of boats today i mean it's just it's fourth of july and the sandbar's packed brock says love all your videos watching from jacksonville thanks brock I appreciate the viewership, man. We, our whole team does. Believe me, we work hard for, uh, for you guys. And uh, a lot of times, guys, reading the support is, is kind of, uh, you know, just that pat on the shoulder, like, good job, right? Larry says, watching from Trinidad and Tobago, love boats. What's up, Larry? Guys, you know, just a few minutes before I went live, there was a Midnight Express that passed by. It was gorgeous. I want to see if I can get it on the way back. I've never seen that Midnight before, and I've never seen it in that colorway either. So hopefully I can share that with you guys. Very, very nice. God, the floor here makes it so challenging sometimes, guys, in order to have uh, everything perfectly balanced. So that yellow top that you see in the distance, guys, for those of you who live here in Miami or are thinking about coming out on your boat, having fun, hit the sandbar, the yellow top you see in the distance, that's, a, that's not yellow top legend. That's, a, <laughs> that's aquatic flavors. So really uh, nice dudes, make good food, good vibes. So check them out, man. If you're at the sandbar, check them out. Look, you look at this, look at this, look at this. Sometimes, bro, right there at the at the mouth at the bridge it gets a little hectic sometimes guys look at that bro oh my god you're gonna these guys if that action continues at the bridge the, the bros are gonna come out you don't want the bros to come out have you noticed street racer says have you noticed you got many viewers already no i have not let me see how many people are in here Ooh, 571 nice Welcome, guys. Welcome, everyone, to the Hall Over 4th of July live stream. Look at this, bro. Look, look, let's see if he hits it. Let's see if he hits the jump. Come on, let's see. Oh. No, it's calm now. It's calm. Oh, my God, bro. Where else in the world, guys? Where else? You can't get it anywhere else, boys. All over inlet, one of a kind. Oh my God, you see this guy jumping in the blue top? Bro. 
Bill Platt. Bill, thanks for the fiver, brother. I appreciate you. Let's see what, what we got. One of my favorite oddball channels. Who would ever think watching boats would be entertaining? Yet here, oh wait, I lost your message. I lost it, I lost it. Uh, yet here we are, happy fourth, brother. Hey, Bill, thanks, man. Thanks again, I appreciate it. I know, man, it's such an odd fascination that we all have with these boats at Hallover Inlet, right? But I'm just happy I can bring this to you guys, man. I really am glad I can share it. By the way, guys, can you confirm in the chat that the audio is fine? Let me know if you can hear me clearly. Is there a lot of wind noise, bad audio? You guys got to give me a hand here. Audio is great. Audio is fine. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. Honestly, I didn't even think we were going to have this many people in here because I figured everybody was out with the family or something. I'll be uh, meeting up with my family later on. Gonna enjoy a firework show. So for those that don't know who are local, guys, they canceled the haul over fireworks. So usually, right like over here, they set up a bunch of trucks and they set up some fireworks every year. And um, it's an awesome show, okay? They, they make you sit all the way down the sand like all the way over there so you're safe from the fireworks hey! <laughs> rest in peace head headphone users <laughs> sorry guys when they say wavy i gotta say something okay you know i can't i can't just leave them hanging anyways so as i was saying the fireworks show has been canceled because of the tragedy that happened at surfside um as many as you as many of you know already there was um, the building collapsed at Surfside, which by the way, I'm gonna show you that you can almost see the building from here. It's just that it's overlapped by other buildings. So the Surfside building is right over there. That's the Surfside building that collapsed. You can't see it, you can't see the building, but it's in that little area. Um, you can't see it from here because um, you just can't, there's buildings in the way, but it's right there. And because of the collapse, uh, you know, obviously, to pay respects to the families and the people that, that, you know, unfortunately lost their lives in that tragedy. Which, by the way, many, many kids, it's very, very sad, guys. Um, and please go online and, and donate, because what they need right now is monetary donations. So if you can, if you're in a position to donate, guys, anything helps, go there and donate, because there's a lot of families left... Uh, without their loved ones. But as I was saying, so the fireworks are canceled for obvious reasons. And I think throughout the whole South Florida coast, I think Key Biscayne is canceled as well. And a lot of these places are canceling their fireworks show on the coast. You can still get a show inside in the city, but just not on the coast. Jamie, great channel, Wavy. Thanks, Jamie, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, that was effed up. When I saw it, I found out so weird how it dropped out. Street racer, I know, man. Dude, did you see, bro? You, this is crazy. He's got, these bolts are like, bro, I gotta keep my camera over there. Guys, they're hitting some big jumps over there. Not all of them, but some of them are, they're going airborne. Anyways. Uh, yeah, it's definitely effed up, guys. I agree. Terrible tragedy, Ramona. Hey, one of the mods is in here, Ramona, shout out. Um, absolutely, I agree. You know, it's, it is, it's one of those things, man. You never expect something like that to happen, you know? You, those people all went to sleep, you know, like, just like any other day. Well, anyways, guys, I definitely don't want to bring the vibe down in the stream, but, you know, it is something that I, I wanted to talk about just because it feels different not having the Hallover Fireworks show this year. All right, all right. Waleed, Wavy, what's up, brother? Craziest thing you've seen so far today. 
MI Yukon wants to know. Today, I haven't seen anything. I mean, I've seen some boats jump up and down over there at the, at the bridge. It's not gonna be anything that crazy. I mean, you never know, really. It's all over, so when you least expect it, something crazy will happen, right? <laughs> you never know, we're all over. David Mangan wants to know, new to these hollower videos, what causes the inlet to make it so wavy? Um, so it's a couple, it's a combination of things, guys. Um, it's, it's, okay, so first of all, it's the pressure of water, the amount of water that rushes in and out of the inlet. There's a lot of pressure. When the tide basically clashes with the wind due to that amount of pressure, things get really rocky. But it also has to do with the fact that it's very shallow at the mouth as well. So it's not, this is not a very deep inlet, okay? So to, here's like a, an inside tip for some of you guys that uh, navigate these inlets. You know, the shallower the inlet is, the worse it can be when low tide and the, and the, and the wind clash. Or even on high tide when the wind clash, any tide, as long as the wind is opposing it, the shallower the inlet, the, the more wave action it'll have. So something to keep in mind for you guys. But yeah, it's, it's basically that. You can narrow it down to that. So we do have a bit of an east wind today, but it's, uh, it's I believe last time I checked it was a southeast wind, but it was gonna shift. Either way, that's, it's not a strong wind and the tide, the low tide already rolled out. So there should be no waves here today, unless they're at the mouth over here at the bridge. David, thank you. You're welcome, David. J James says, exactly, you nailed it. That's what makes the inlet rough. Yeah, absolutely, James. <sighs> I'm trying to stay hydrated, guys. It's like, it's like 92 degrees out here or something. That's a popular question. That's a question we get all the time. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good? One of uh, Bow Harbor's finest on the jetty. You see, this is the type of boat right here, guys. This, that, and you see how it's coming out with all that enthusiasm? That's what we look for right here. It's, nothing's gonna happen today. You know, he's safe and sound, I think, but. a beautiful day you know guys we're expecting a hurricane on Tuesday by the way I just want to point that out Miami is such a crazy place we're expect we're literally expecting a hurricane on Tuesday so this is what it's looking like TM watching from the UK thanks for a great channel I appreciate that, man. Thanks for hanging out with us. Oh, look, 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 We got a, we got a situation. Let me see. No, it's not a situation, but I, I really like these boats, guys. Have you seen, have you guys seen the one with quad 450Rs in the back? Man, these, these things are so cool. Really nice clip I got, guys, of um, a scout with quad 450Rs. Ripping it, ripping it on a rough day, boys. It was it was a beautiful thing to see. Steven, howdy from Texas. Love the channel. What's up, Steven? Thanks for the view, says Todd. No problem. Shannon says, hi, watching from North Carolina. Would you be able to give a shout out to my husband, Dale? <laughs> yeah, for sure. What's up, Dale? What's going on, brother? You're hanging out with wavy boats here at uh, the good old Hallover Inlet. Wait a minute, bro. Is that it? I was just talking about this boat. Look at it. There it is, guys. Bro, what am I doing? <laughs> That's it right there. There it is, boys. 
What's the price tag on one of those guys? Does anybody know? The Trip 557s? I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen the Scout with the Trip 557s. Unless I have, and maybe it's not coming to mind, but no, I don't think I have. What is this guy doing? Oh boy. Oh boy. Is there a little dip there? No. No, he's safe and sound. Oh my God, bro, you can feel these 92 degrees in your soul, man. It is, it is a scorcher, guys. Is that 180,000 for what? For the mold? There's no way that boat's 180,000, dude. Come on. You got to add a... Uh... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. What do we got here? Waving at the cameras. Woo, waving at the cameras. Today we have on the jetty, let's see. We got Wavy Boats. This is uh, one of our camera guys over there, Wavy Boats doing his thing. That's, that's one of the team members. Then we've got Yachting Hub Miami, which is right here. Yachting Hub Miami, also the uh, co-owner of Miami Boats. Getting some yacht action today, guys, here for Yachting Hub Miami. Also, some stuff for Miami Boats. Ottawa. Let's see. Forget 500K. I bought a 21-foot Mastercraft with 68 hours for 15,000 used. It's a great boat to beach on the sand. No worries, right? Just beach it on the sand. I hear you, brother. I hear you. Listen, I'm, I've, I'm somebody who's always been of the opinion that no matter what I get into, whether it's a car or boats, you always got to have a beater. You got to have a beater, man, that you just don't care about, that you can toss around and have a good time on. So I'm with you on that. Listen, no matter what boat I end up buying, I'm going to get myself an 18-foot Boston Whaler. My little island hopper. Oh, my God. Is that Miguel Tebuco? Hey, there it is. Shout out, guys. Shout out. This is another YouTuber. Check him out. This is Miguel Tebuco. Llama Miguel Tebuco. Yeah. There he goes. So this guy is definitely going to vlog the sandbar today, guys. So if you want to see some sandbar videos, check them out, boys. Miguel Tebuco. Nice guy. Enjoys the hell out of his boat. Really loves to be out here. He comes there almost every weekend. He's out here, guys. He comes from Fort Lauderdale. And, uh, and yeah, he's always on the sandbar. All right, butter, 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 butter. Hey, what's up, Bert? Another shout out to another mod. Okay, nice. That's, that's what I like to see. I like to see both mods in attendance. Not that we need it, really. I mean, you know, this, this chat ain't that toxic. Guys, believe it or not, I have a lot of toxic words filtered out. You know, it's not, listen, I don't like censorship at all, but some stuff is just unnecessary, you know? And I don't ever want the chat to, to take part in any, anything like that. Especially since we're live, guys, and you know, what you say here, it's, I can't really do nothing about it, it's just live, so. Oh, I'm sure Yachting Hub is uh, recording this right now. Oh my God, bro. I got you. You know what? This, when these boats come by, I always look for the little boats to see if there's any small boat that's going to cross its path. 
What's your favorite boat? High pack boys or high pack boys says. Guys, I get that question pretty often, man. I mean, it's it's a tough one, you know. I like a lot of boats. For example, look, I like Freeman, right? But I feel like I can't really enjoy the Freeman for everything that I want to do. I can enjoy it to go fishing, you know, to, to haul ass in it, like, you know, have fun. But it's not really the type of boat I want to be at the sandbar with or take the family out on. Oh, my God, bro. There it is. Look at this guy. Oh, my God. Bro. Bro, are we gonna are we gonna see a baptism today at the at the bridge? Guys, listen, if I get one baptism today, I'll be happy with that. I'm cool, I just need one. Do you have any problems with filming permits at Hallover? No, I don't. I don't have any issues with filming permits at Hallover. Listen, permits are very easy, guys. It's not, it's not that difficult. Either you pay for a permit or you don't pay for a permit, and that's it. Like, it's, it's nothing else to it. But we don't, we don't have a problem with it, guys. I mean, in the past, we've had to pay for it, and we have, and... It is what it is, you know? The park, I think the park is changing their rule though. Unless they already did, I don't know. But I know that, I know myself included with other YouTubers that have complained and have uh, pushed the envelope. I think they're, they're leaning, they're, uh, they're becoming a little more lenient because there, there needs to be some discretion, okay? Like it's not, you know, I'm not out here with a million dollar production, you know? Right now I'm standing here by myself with a tripod. So. Why should I have to pay the same amount of money that a Hollywood film would have to pay to come film, uh, you know, Fast and the Furious on boats? You know, like, it, I shouldn't have to pay the same thing they gotta pay. Oh boy, we got some people here. How many people are on that boat? Oh, oh, bro! What is happening? Are we gonna are we getting something today? It may happen after all. Because you are making money, period. And you really think that there should be no discretion? Who said that? R Rubble Smith? And you really don't think there should be any discretion compared to the amount of money that these people make? Keep in mind, please, I want you to keep in mind that these permits were put in place for major Hollywood films, okay? So it's not like they knew when, at the time of making these rules that there would be a guy named Wavy Boats who's gonna happen to come and film YouTube videos from there. Come on, man, you, you gotta think there should be some discretion here, like it can't just, Come on. And not only that, yeah, because I'm making money, but am I making the same amount of money that Fast and the Furious makes? By the way, dude, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. The live streams don't really make us that much money. I do it more for the fact that I can be here and I'm accessible to you guys and I, I'm building a community because it's not just about the channel, guys. I can just not live stream and have a YouTube channel, of course, but, you know, I want to build a community. I want to be more accessible to you guys. I want to answer questions. I want to get to know some of you. So, you know, it's fun. Not only that, there's, there's nothing like live action, okay? The fact that I can't filter this out and anything can happen, there's nothing like it. You should pay nothing, you're obstructing nothing and bothering no one. I agree, I agree. But listen, in all fairness, I will say this. We don't pay anything at Bow Harbor, okay? So where I'm standing right now is free. I don't pay a dime here. Hey, look guys, look, we got a midnight, we got a midnight coming. 
Let's see, let's check out the midnight. Can you guys hear the engines? Or is my mic not picking that up? Oh my God, bro, I should have got that. This guy was in the front of the boat going crazy. Here we go, guys. These guys are the ones that were coming in hot that hit that uh, that big jump. <laughs> oh man, I, I love my haul over people, man, I swear. They always have so much fun. Hey everyone, I came from Vietnam. Welcome, welcome to the live stream. Nanya, thanks for the fiver, brother. Appreciate the content, bro. <laughs> thanks, bro. I appreciate the support. The daily park pass has all the fees that should be. I agree. I mean, there is no park pass, though. I mean, we don't pay. We only pay parking when you go to the hallover side. Anyways, I did want to make that clear, guys, that while I am here, standing here, there, I'm not paying anything to be on the Ball Harbor side, okay? It is, it is free to be here filming. Um, and, let me, and let me be clear, I am not sure if they changed the rules yet on the north side. They very well could have changed the rules and it might be free to stand there too. I don't know. I just know that when I had to go, I had to pay, I think it was 321 with taxes plus the, the, uh, what you, with the fee for the permit itself from the county. Well, look, guys, I, you know, to be honest, you guys have put me in a position where the fee doesn't really hurt me like that. But, you know, it just sucks because I shouldn't have to. That's all. It's just about the principle more than anything. You know, it's our, it's our right. It's our First Amendment right to do so. Oh my God, you have over a thousand. Is there really a thousand people in here? Let me check, guys. Hold on. Are you kidding, dude? I mean, it's flat today. I didn't think there would be that many people in here today. Let me see something. Oh, you're right. Wow. Super cool. Welcome, guys. Welcome to the 4th of July all over live stream. Got the sandbar. The sandbar is packed, boys. Look at this. Dude, let me ask you guys a genuine question. Please give me some feedback here. Do, would you guys enjoy, and you can be brutally honest, would you enjoy a live stream from inside the sandbar? Meaning I get on a boat or a kayak. No, no I'm not going to get on a kayak. I'll get on a boat. Get on a boat, get to the sandbar, and live stream the action at the sandbar from the sandbar. Is that something you guys would enjoy? If it's not, it's okay. Just let me know. Remember, one thing about the sandbar, I want to be clear, there's the boats there aren't really moving. They're kind of parked, they're anchored. So I could film the channel in front of the sandbar so you could see the moving boats coming in and out. But there's just going to be a lot of dancing, a lot of partying, lots of people having fun and um, anchored boats. So you're not going to get like the inlet action. And mind you, I'm only referring to flat days. I will not be on a wavy day at the sandbar. It just doesn't make sense. I rather I have I have fun when it's wavy. So I rather be here capturing all the craziness of these boats hitting smashing waves.
All right, I'm seeing a lot of you guys are, are giving me a thumbs up on the sandbar. Okay, all right. You know, I did a, a community post and a lot of you voted for the sandbar as well. So it looks like there's a genuine interest in the sandbar. You know, the thing is that you've got vloggers there already. So it's not, I, I won't ever vlog from there. Sitting alone on 4th of July. <laughs> yeah, sure. Let's see someone else enjoying their lives. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm sorry, man. The cynicism in me, it just, it, I just find like that really funny. Sorry, brother. You're not alone, okay? You're here with us. You're here with a bunch of like-minded individuals enjoying boats at Hallover Inlet. Greetings from Turkey. What's up, Turkey? It's too hot to be outside if you don't have to be. I mean, I agree. It's, it's true. But you know, living in Miami, you kind of like get used to it, really. Like it is hot, but you know, it's not like anything I haven't experienced already. If you see the banner, guys, come say hi. Okay, don't be shy. If you're on the jetty or on the beach or in Boca, we're, we're filming at Boca today as well. We're filming at Miami River. We're filming at uh, another location, undisclosed as for now. But if you see us, come say what's up. Plus, we got stickers. What's that flag? That's our banner to let you guys know which, which one is ours. Cause I mean, today there's not really many people here, but remember guys, sometimes we got like six, seven camera and tripods here on the jetty. Wavy Boats, hello from Indiana. Hey, Hooks and Hammocks, what's up brother? Okay, we got this guy out there. Wow, such a nice day guys, honestly. It makes me want to jump in the water. Subscribe to my channel if you like chill live chats. Hey, Bert, what are you doing? No plugs. Bert trying to plug his, his whole career out here. <laughs> and Bert's funny, man. I like Bert. Give me links so I can plug your channels, bro. <laughs> I mean, you can, you can, uh, it's, you know, we don't need a constant plug though. I don't want to be spammy, but you know, I think, you know, the, the channels in our, in our network, you know, wavy boats, boats versus haul over Miami boat ramps. Those are the three main channels guys. Give you a little bit of everything with those channels. I mean, we have more on the network. I mean, honestly, guys, we have Miami boats. We got rough inlets. It's growing, boys. We've got a whole mess of channels. It's growing. Dude, I can't believe we have a thousand people in here, bro. Like, that's crazy. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you're enjoying the stream, guys. It truly does help us out. What do we have here? Come on, what do we have here? Bro, you know what? This is, guys, I think this is where the action is gonna be today, right here. We have to wait until about five or six boats are transiting the bridge at the same time. When there's like five or six of them and they're all hitting it at the same time, I think that's when we're gonna get some, uh, some plopping and I don't know about stuffing. I mean, it's possible. I don't wanna rule it out. You never rule out the stuffing, right? 
the stuffing is uh, sweat uh, pumps bloods in our veins. Hey, Joe, thanks, brother. I appreciate the fiber. Keep it up. Absolutely, man. Definitely, guys. Uh, I, I do plan on keeping up the live stream. Oh, look at this guy, bro. Look at this guy. The CB boys. Dude, he was ripping it from out there. He snuck up on me. All right, so you guys are asking me what are, what are my favorite boats. So it's not just one, guys, okay? It's it's more than one. We I like, personally, I love CV. I love, I love Freeman. Oh, 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 oh. What's up? Every time they say wavy, guys, I have to do something, okay? Um, let's see. I like CB. I like Invincible as well. I like Invincible. I like Scout. Um, there's a category of boats, guys, that I like that I wouldn't own, but I can recognize. I can acknowledge that they're good boats, but I wouldn't own them. Oh, Grandma knows. Grandma knows about the cameras. <laughs> I love it. I love it. They, they always wave towards our usual spot because we're always over there in the spot, and they see the banner, guys. Another reason for the banner. There it is. You see the banner? They, they see the banner. They see it's wavy, and, uh, and yeah, they want to say hi. Dude, there's a lot of boats, man. I mean, look, Sea Hunter is cool. That's another boat that's awesome. Boston Whaler, like, you know, Boston, look, I'll be honest about Boston Whaler. I'm going to tell you guys the, the real truth, what, how I feel about Boston Whaler. I like old Boston Whalers. I don't like new Boston Whalers. And that's just me. There's nothing against the boat. Um, it has nothing to do with performance either, of course. It's purely based on, on um, how it looks, just how the boat looks. I'm getting a phone call. No, I can't take that right now. Anyways. Just purely based on how the boat looks, I, I don't like the look, the aesthetic of the newer Boston Whalers. But, you know, they're still great boats. Just not my cup of tea, that's all. Now, an old Boston Whaler, like a Dauntless 180, a, uh, the Montauks, those, man, I'll, I'll take those any day. Hey, you guys, you guys see that little wave action that's forming right there? Look at that, bro. What is that? Some like ripples that are happening right there. Anyways, guys, hold on. We got a red top, but it ain't the legend. It's not the legend, boys. So don't don't get don't get too excited, okay? Word on the old school, yeah, for sure, man. The old school Boston Whalers. Let me tell you, they're pricey though. It's not easy to find one in good shape. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is anything, uh, I don't know. This, there's potential here. There's no wake in there right now though, so I think they're fine. Yeah, they're fine for now. It's, it's when about five boats, five, six boats are in there. That's when it happens. Anyways, thumbs up, guys. Remember, the, the like button really helps us out tremendously, okay? That's what keeps this live stream going. Um, it's not the donations. I appreciate the donations. Our whole team does, believe me. But the thumbs up is what helps us because it makes it, makes it so that the live stream gets pushed more people join, and that is the end goal. That's the objective to, to build a community here. The cops, the caps. Anyways, what's going on, bro? The nude beach, what? What do you say? I can't, I can't go to the nude beach, guys. Come on. Obviously, I can't film at the nude beach. 
You guys are trying to get me kicked out of places, huh? Bro, there's so many boats at the sandbar, my God. Oh boy. I learned my lesson from last time's stream, guys. I brought the uh, I brought the Gatorade and the water. Last time I was I was going through it out here with no no fluid. <laughs> Hello from the UK. What's up? What's up, brother? How are you? Fine. You good? How you doing, Dan? Chilling. Uh, you doing uh, fireworks later today or no? And they cancel here, there's no fireworks, yeah. It's another, another channel just got here, guys, to film boats. We've got to film the boats. Let's see here. Wavy, where are the speed boats at? Noble Ned wants to know. They're probably parked, uh, they're anchored at the sandbar, to be honest. I'm pretty sure they're at the sandbar right now, guys. How's the equipment holding up in the heat? Actually, um, last week, guys, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yachting Hub, Miami. What's up, brother? Cogite la... Firmate algo bueno o no? Oye, como hay, hay tráfico hoy. Chatting up with uh, another channel here, guys. This is uh, the, this is my partner, co-owner of Miami Boats, also the owner of Yachting Hub Miami. I know a lot of you guys know him as uh, Yachting Hub Miami. Mira, ahí tienes uno. ¿Qué, qué es eso? Un oh, boy. Oh, that, that boat. No, I, no, no, no comment. I can't say. <laughs> I don't want to be on the record giving an opinion on that one. Anyways. Seven people that disliked had boats sink. <laughs> Listen, guys, I'm always going to say this. You need haters, okay? You need the haters. If you don't have haters, you're definitely not doing it right. You got to have people that, that genuinely don't want to see you succeed because it, it affects them so deeply that they can't sleep at night. You need that, okay? You need that. Well, hold on, bro. We're getting a little busy here on the bridge, guys. We got another boat coming in. Dude, we got like four yachts coming in, man. Hater episode? I don't know. I mean, we got seven dislikes. I don't know how many likes we have because I can't see that information right now. Let's see. Much law enforcement boats around with a building collapse? Dara wants to know. Uh, actually, there, there is, Dara, there is. There has been a lot of, of uh, agencies out here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this guy doing, bro? We gonna get some action or what? Oh my God. This is like the wave action we're getting today, boys. We gotta make the best of it. <laughs> the Axabar. Woo. Oh my God, the traffic right now. What is, what, what is happening? Oh, the plop, boys. We got the plop. The midnight plop. Oh, my God. The plop, boys. What is going on here, guys? What is this? 
Oh my God. I thought it was something else when I first saw this. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was my people. I'm Cuban, guys. So as you guys know, I'm, I'm uh, born here. Parents are Cuban. So I thought it was my people. They made it to, to the Americas. <laughs> oh my God. I swear, you guys know what I'm talking about. It looked like, whoa, oh my God, bro. No. What is happening, dude? Dude, that thing is dangerous, man. What, what is that? What kind of boat is that? Bro, bro, bro. Oh, no, no, no. Get out of the way, bro. Get out of the way. Dude. I, I don't know if I feel comfortable, man, going out in that. That's, that didn't look good, guys. <laughs> Oh, oh, there he goes again. Oh my God, boys. Whatever that was, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an opinion. <laughs> That's cool. But anyways, yeah, man, I thought it was my people for sure when I first saw it. It had that vibe to it. The Cuban homemade special T says, hey, <laughs> the best engineers in the world, man. If they can make something to go across 90 miles. By the way, for those of you that are Cuban, I'm Cuban too, so I get the green light, okay? I'm allowed to make comments. My mother doesn't speak any English. Actually, you know what? That's a lie. She speaks a little bit, but you know, very, very small amount. Anyways, you're exactly right. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll take it, man. Any action we can get today, I'm for it, guys. All right, hold on, hold on guys. We got a we got a jetty walker about to uh, make make its way on the jetty, or not? I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Ah, oh boy, you know what sucks? That I didn't bring the ice, so the water that I have is already warm. Oh boy, look at this. These guys are screaming at the yacht for some reason, what happened? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, he slowed it down, he slowed it down. This is incredible, bro. There's so many boats here today, guys. I, I don't even know, man. There's so many boats. What shirt are you bringing? <laughs> I mean, what shirt are you wearing? I'll bring you some ice. <laughs> Love your channel and Miami Boat Ramps channel, Hitchhiker. Hey, Hitchhiker, thanks for the support, man. Really appreciate it. You can't miss me. I'm wearing a wavy boat shirt. You can't miss the wavy boat shirt. Dude, have you seen the Thunder Child 2 boat? Is that the one that that goes crazy out there, guys, with the waves? Is that the Thunder Child? That's that boat that hits like these nasty waves and it takes them on the chin like nothing. talking about the beach oh you guys want to see the beach okay got some people over here enjoying their day
What is that? What? Intrepid? I think you're right, yeah. Intrepid it is. It's coming out? Oh my God, guys, look at the size of this, bro. This is coming out here? No, this, this, this monster is coming out, guys? No way, bro. Oh my God, dude. Holy crap, there's 1.2 thousand people in here. Holy, hey guys, we just, I think we just broke our own record. I think we broke our record, guys. I don't think we, we, we usually have 1.2K in here. Welcome guys, welcome to the live stream or the channel. You may, you may uh, just have stumbled upon this channel through maybe a recommendation or, but anyways, hey, awesome. Glad to have you guys here, welcome. If you can, do us a favor and hit that like button. It really does help us. I can't believe this monster's coming out here, guys. Look at this. I think Yachting Hub's blood pressure is rising. He's, he's excited to catch this guy. He loves yachts. Oh, look at the comparison, bro. Look at this. What, what is this guy? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What do we got here? Dude, I'm going to screenshot this. This is crazy. I'm, new rec I'm going to screenshot every time we have a new record, guys. Oh my god, 1.3. Wait a minute. I got to screenshot this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, we got it, boys. I'm coming out. William Jackson, come on out, bro. What boat are you? What boat are you on, should I say? No, you're good, you're good. How do you guys feel about this yacht? Do you, you guys like the dipped nose like that? The, the bow like of the yacht dipping down? Or do you guys not like that? Nope, no, fugly, <laughs> fugly, <laughs> oh, I love fugly. Uh, this is a, let's see, let's zoom in, let's zoom in. What is it? Aston, Astondoa. I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, but it's an Astondoa. It's enormous, bro. Some people like it, okay. All right, not, let me see, not really, but if they have the cash, I wouldn't complain. Yeah, you, you're right, man, you're right. Look at this, bro. I love cigarettes. I forgot to mention cigarettes. I love cigarettes, guys. Not, not, the, not the ones you smoke, okay? The boat, I like the cigarette boats. I don't smoke. That's probably one of the nicest boats I've seen today, the, the cigarette. Oh boy, he's, he's gonna have to deal with a little bit of wake here. Hold on, hold on, because we got this. I don't know, I don't know. Nah, I think he's okay. That cigarette's pretty big, so it's not gonna have a problem. Bro, did I screenshot the 1.3 or did I screenshot the 1.2? Because I'm, I'm, I can't believe it, bro. Hold on, I gotta screenshot the one point. All right, I got the 1.3. So if your comment was on the screen at that point, you will live forever. What is this, a Pershing? We got the, the beautiful Pershing making its way out of the inlet, guys. Why do they drive so fast on bad days? Uh, I don't know, I mean. It's just a culture here, man. That's kind of how it is. Uh, they, nobody here wants to go slow. You do have your captains that'll go slow. Sometimes they go too slow where it's counterproductive.
Oh my God, bro. Did I just, this guy, man. I saw this guy do a crazy little plop right now. I gotta keep an eye on this, bro. Look at this, boat's like leaning to the side or something, bro. What is this? Like I said, guys, there may be a chance for a second live stream today, okay? But that's uh, that's still to be determined at another spot. Hey, look, we got somebody else filming over here, guys. Uh, I don't think I know that guy. I definitely don't know him by the gear because I don't know anybody who uses that style of tripod out here. So I don't know him by the gear. Probably a new channel, if I had to guess. I filmed from that spot before one time. I didn't like it. Uh, just not, not the most ideal situation there when you're on a rock. I think we got someone filming over here too. Could be a tourist, could be a new channel. Never know. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Oh my God, bro. This guy's an enthusiast. All right, slowed it down a little bit, but we had the enthusiast out here. Look at this guy, look at this guy, bro. What? The Nortec boys. Oh, he's coming in hot, bro. He is coming in. This guy's on fire right now. Oh my God, dude. He hasn't let up. There he goes. He slowed it down. Bro, that, that dude was flying. That dude was flying. Hey guys, for those of you just joining the stream, please make sure to go ahead and hit that like button. It helps us out, as you may uh, already know. Ooh, 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 what's this? What do we got, what do we got? I can't tell what this is, guys. Hey, do you know if Golden Beach is doing any fireworks this year? Everything's canceled. Everything, right? Yeah. yeah. Never mind. Yep, it's all canceled. Guys, I'll tell you what. You know what? I think Boca Inlet right now is so packed. It has to be. It has to be. You know what? Let's let's call my guy. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna let you guys hear the call here. Let's. If he answers, he might be filming, but let's give the uh, camera guy at Boca a call. So this is, I'm calling our cameraman who's at Boca right now filming. Hey, you're on the live stream, okay? So don't say anything crazy, bro. No <laughs> Anyways, I was just checking up to see uh, how's the traffic at Boca today? Uh, it's kind of like it goes up and down. But it's, it's uh, a little busy, but not too much, man. So a little busy. Uh, it's a little busy. It's not crazy. Yeah, little, it's, got a, it's got its intervals. Like, All right. So, off, so it's like intermittent, off. hit or miss. Yeah, then, then 30 minutes, then for like 20 minutes, it's back to back, back to back, back to back, and then it's calm for like 45 minutes, and then back to back, back to back again. Nothing too exciting. You know, nice boats, CVs. Yeah, kind of, you know what, it's kind of the same thing over here. It's not crazy. Um, we're, well, traffic wise, it is. We're getting a lot of traffic. You're out of here. Take care, brother. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll call you later. Hey, no, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to um, Yachting Hub Miami who's over here next to me. So yeah, it's kind of the same thing here, uh, except we're getting more boat traffic. The sandbar is pretty packed over here. 
Yeah. Nice, yeah, for sure. Get some B-roll. Anyways. All righty. Well, we'll take what we can get. Anyways. All right, bro. I'll check in with you later. Take care. Bye. I don't know if you guys could hear that, guys, because of the wind. But, yeah, that's our guy filming over at Boca. He says it's, it's a little slower than this. I thought it'd have more boats than this. Because Boca has its days where it's nonstop. Oof, man, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Let's take a look at the north side, see if there's any uh, people over there. We got one, one lady over there. She's uh, taking video of the boats passing by. But yeah, like I was saying, guys, sometimes that's why we have the banner, you know, to help you guys out. Because I know sometimes you guys come here looking for us and want to say hi, want to meet us, hang out. Maybe you want some stickers. So, you know, the banner helps you identify who's who, you know. We're not the only one. There's another channel here wearing shirts. So, the good news for you guys is you cannot miss us. If you walk on the jetty, you will definitely see myself along with uh, the other cameraman anyways just showing you guys a little bit north side action because uh well actually we do have we do have some boats coming out just waiting on the boats to come out all right dara wants to know wavy boats ever see anybody tube or ski out of the inlet yeah yeah for sure well i mean jet ski absolutely yeah, I mean, there's jet skis here all the time. Uh, as far as tube, yeah, it does happen. Not, it's not very common, but it happens. What is the boat channel? Uh, the boat channel. This is it. You found the boat channel. I'm just doing a live stream. It's called Wavy Boats. I'm going to go get a sticker for my son. Jesus, come get it, brother. Guys, we might put these stickers up for sale as well. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of you guys have been asking for that. You've been asking us to send you some stickers and all that. So I'm, I don't know, it's a sticker, you know? Probably make it two or three bucks. Or like, I'll just do like a special and throw in like five stickers or something like that. But if you come in person, for sure, I'll give them to you for free. The only reason I would even charge for that is just because I would have to put somebody to process those orders and ship them out. So I gotta pay someone to do that. Otherwise, I'd have to do it myself and I realistically don't have the time for that. I'm involved in too many projects at the moment, guys. We have some channels you guys don't even know about, stuff that we're, uh, that we're still playing with. I mean, it's gonna be great if we do decide to go that route, but you know, there's still some stuff in the air. Oh yeah, get that plop action. Oh boy. Are many submarines allowed at the jetty? Noli Novio wants to know. Honestly, bro, I, I don't know that. I don't know the answer to that. I would assume yes. I guess anything's allowed as long as it fits. 
but that is definitely like not an official response. So I, I don't know. I haven't, I can't say I've seen any submarines here at the jetty, guys. I've not seen it. Hey! <laughs> They're just happy guys. They got they find <laughs> They're waving me down for like a good uh, minute or something. They got my attention. What's up? <laughs> That's awesome. I love seeing it guys. They're just having a good time. Reggie, I'm waving at you. Is that you, Reggie? <laughs> What's up, Reggie? Is Boca live? No. Boca is not live. <sighs> Boca is a cool spot, man. If you guys, we have a playlist. If you haven't checked it out, go check out Boca Inlet. Like type in Boca Inlet Bolts or something like that. Uh, we're going to come out for sure. Just look for Wavy Bolts. You're going to see our videos from there. We have some pretty good videos from there, guys. So if you haven't seen it, check it out. You're going to fall in love with Boca. It's uh. It's just, it's like Hallover, it's just a mini version of Hallover. So the, though it's a tighter inlet, it's, uh, it's much more narrow, definitely, and, um, and it's shallow. So for those of you that are still here from the beginning, remember what we talked about, about the inlet being shallow. If it's shallow, the more shallow it is, the more wave action potential it has once the tide and the wind clash. So... <clears throat> That inlet gets nasty, boys, nasty. And we've caught it, we've caught it on super nasty days. We almost got a yacht running into the jetty there, like full speed, guys. It was, he had to run aground to stop, basically. Some people were suggesting in my inbox, they were like in my, on Instagram, they were telling me to go live at the Miami River, guys. I, you know, the Miami River, it's not that I can't go live from there because I, I can go live anywhere I want. The problem is, well, hold on, let's film this boat. Let's film the boat, boys. I can definitely film live at the Miami River if I wanted to. But the problem, guys, the biggest challenge there is, okay, well, actually, there's a couple challenges. So challenge number one is the music, right? So when we're live, we have to be careful with the music, guys, because if not, we get a copyright strike. Plus, they'll just mute the rest of the live stream without even knowing. Oh, whoa, 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 this guy, bro, this guy. Ooh, this guy was just flying. Oh, la musica, no, 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 that's too loud. Gotta be careful with the music, I'm telling you. YouTube does not like us playing any popular songs, man. Anyways, so like I was saying, the music is a big challenge, guys. Um, they can mute my stream. I won't even know it, right? Well, I guess I'll know it through chat. You guys will definitely say something like, we can't hear you or something. But the mute my stream, I got to trim out that section if I want to, if I care about even publishing the live stream after the fact. Um, then also the element of getting flashed. That is a problem, guys. I don't know when it's going to happen, and it happens. So here is the biggest problem. We, like everyone else, you have haters, right? And I don't even like talking about this, guys, to be honest, but, you know, since it's been something that we've gotten often, I'll just go over it real quick. But, um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. She's waving, bro. I gotta, I gotta get her on here. Anyways, so just to, like, kind of go over this real quick. Bro, I can't. Every time I'm going to talk about it, somebody's, like, flying in here. Dude, look at this guy, bro. Oh my goodness. That little Grady White is flying, dude. Nice.
Okay, anyways. Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna look at the chat now, guys. I'm gonna answer some questions. Let me just, I guess, finish this little segment off. Okay, so basically, Miami River, the problem, the music, the second problem, the flashing. The girls there will take it all off, okay? There's times that I've been there filming, and this stuff doesn't make the YouTube channel, so you never see it, right? Plus, I don't really post Miami River content on Wavy Boats anyways. But on our other channel, Miami Boats, you don't see it because we, we decide not to put it. But girls can go topless at any second. They see the cameras, and they don't care. They'll just be like, hey! And you know they'll they'll go wild. Um, the cops flying in here, but I'm not gonna read. I mean, you'll see them pass by. So, right. So that is a problem, guys, because then you know obviously there's no nudity allowed on uh, on YouTube. You know, unless it's artistic and all this. So that there, you know, in some occasions it is allowed, but I'm not. You know, that's not my occasion. That's not what my predicament is. So I don't even want to go through the hoops. So, what happens is, if we didn't have the type, whoa, what's going on, bro? The cop was like, is he all right? Come on, bro. Come on, Miami Dade. Let's get it together. Anyways, um, we have haters like everyone else, right, guys? Because, you know, when you have a, a, a big channel or whatever, it's not huge, but it's big enough that you're going to attract some haters. Um, also, competition. There's a lot of competitive people, there's a lot of competition in the space that they don't want to see others succeed, right? And, and if, when they do, it hurts them and they want to go and try to hurt you in turn in any way they can. So if I go live at Miami River and let's say, God forbids, a girl flashes us and I couldn't turn the camera away on time or worst case scenario, I get flashed and I don't notice it because I'm looking at the, at the chat one of these guys who sits on my channel all day long just looking for something to report me for is going to report the channel for nudity and graphic sexual content and all that stuff and then before you know it um you know i'm gonna get in trouble with youtube hold on what is this bro hold on we have i have to stop this conversation hold on what is this man it snuck up over here bro what is this Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we got the party up here, guys. Let me see. Is there any gonna? Is there gonna be any any dancing up here? Oh. oh, this guy's getting it. Wait a minute. Come on, bro. Don't let us down, bro. He was about to get it. There he goes. Boom. Yeah, he got it. He's waiting for the drop. That's understandable. Spicy. <laughs> That's the correct word. You guys are awesome. Definitely spicy. What do we got, boys? We got a Grady White in this corner. We got the Grady White. Behind the Grady White, we have another contestant, the Midnight Express. What a river. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, I feel like I've been talking about this for too long. Let me just let me just end it real quick. Okay, so if I get flashed, they report for nudity and graphic sexual content, then I get in trouble with YouTube. And basically it comes down to not being worth it for me because I could care less about that content anyways. That content is pretty brain dead content. I mean, in my opinion, everybody is entitled to their own opinion. But, you know, it's, it's charter boats with girls on it. I mean, it's cool. I can watch it for a while. But it's not my favorite type of content, really. Oh, look at this guy. All right, that's it. We're done with that subject. So that's why, for now, I don't have any intentions. Whoa, bro. What is this guy doing? Not the, not the scout, bro. Not the scout, bro. Oh, 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 what are you doing, dude? Just letting it rip. 
Let her rip, boys. So yes, for now, there's no plans to, to live stream the Miami River. Um, but, but, that can change, okay? I could decide, you know what, screw it, I'll keep track of things. Uh, I'll make sure not to, you know, get a flash, I guess. <laughs> or if I do, I'll turn the camera away really quickly or something like that. So, you never know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll live stream the, the Miami River. You know what, I might make a community post and I'll let you guys decide if you want to see the Miami River live or not. But I will say, we have another channel, guys. It's called Miami Boats. And we have river content there like crazy, you know? We got somebody filming the river right this moment. Okay, Dara, do you, uh, Wavy Boats, do you get many sailing yachts in Miami? Yes, we get a lot of sailing boats in Miami. We don't get them through Hallover Inlet because this right here is a fixed bridge. This bridge does not open, guys. Therefore, the sailing yachts go through Government Cut or they go a little more north and they go through uh, Fort Lauderdale. A Cuban sauna. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, bro. You guys. Let's take a look at the beach behind us. See what's going on over here. Okay, we got some sunbathers. Enjoying the, enjoying the beautiful sun, the South Florida sun. Anyways, guys, don't forget, okay? Smash that like button. Let everyone else know to smash that like button. All right, all right, let's, uh... Drone? No, you can't, you can't fly the drone on the Ball Harbor side, guys, sorry. Ball Harbor doesn't want us flying drones. Yeah, what do you got? What do you got over here? Ah, it's not much more that way. Give me a second, guys. Gonna get some water real quick and then we'll change up the scene. Wait, what? There's no way. What? No, that's not. Hold on, let me let me drink some water. Give me a second. I, I think my eyes are deceiving me. One second. Let me drink some. <sighs> okay. Let me uh. Let me see something. What, what, what is going on here? Hold on. Is that, is that actually a $500 donation? What is DKK? Is that $5 or $500? I don't know what, it doesn't matter either way, but I mean, I, I definitely want to be appreciative if, if it is that, I mean, what is that? Can somebody verify if that's a $500 donation or if that's, Oh, wait a minute, bro. Is that Prestige Imports? Who is this? It's a Midnight Express. Ooh, what a beauty, bro. Let her, let her eat, bro. Let her breathe, bro. Oh my God, dude. Dude. It smells like power. I love that boat. That specific boat right there with the khaki interior. Oof, I love that boat. My God, dude, hey, that was for you guys, okay? He opened her up just for you guys. 
Anyways, somebody needs to verify if that's a $500 donation. Hey, listen, um, was that Dara? Dara, thank you so much. I just, I'm not sure if that's what it is. Can you please let me know? Got the CV, got the CV boys. CV passing through. Bro, look at this midnight, dude. Oh my God, bro, are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me, bro? This thing is so gorgeous. With the khaki interior. I think that's the Prestige Imports. If I got it wrong, my bad, but I'm pretty sure that's Prestige Imports. Shout out to them. That thing is something else. Okay, anyways. So wait a minute, what's going on? All right, hold on. I feel like this deserves that attention. Hold on. Guys, what is going on here? That's $80 converted to US dollars. Wait, what? I, that's what I'm trying to say. That's not that's not American dollars, right? That's $80 converted to US dollars from Denmark crowns. Okay, wow, dude, $80, that's still a crazy donation. Dara, thanks so much, or DKK. I don't know if it was Dara or DKK, but somebody like highlighted it and it showed me Dara. Well, DKK, thank you so much for that donation, brother. Really appreciate it. I think that's one of the highest donations we've ever gotten, if I'm not mistaken. Really, I appreciate it, man. Happy 4th of July to you and your family, dude. We got the Double D Charter right here, boys. Like I always say, guys, um, you know, I, I definitely don't live stream for donations. That's not what it is. We care more about, the, um, about building the community. We appreciate the donations for sure. But, you know, if, if, um, if you don't donate, like, that's fine. Like, honestly, just... Giving us a like really goes a long way. So all you gotta do is hit that thumbs up and and we're good. Wow, that's that's awesome though man. DKK, thank you so much. Where's DKK though? I don't I don't see him in the chat. Or her, sorry. No, Dara says it's not her donation. So who's DKK? Dude, I do not see a screen name. I'm scrolling up and I do not see a name. DKK. Huh. Oh, DKK is a currency. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Are you blind? No, I wasn't seeing. <laughs> Don't kill me, guys, okay? I wasn't seeing what you guys are typing because I was scrolling up for the username. DKK is the, the currency type. <laughs> oh, sorry, bro. I had a... Uh, I had a haul over moment there. Sorry. Anyways. Well, so that leaves me with the question. Then if it's not DKK, then who is DKK? I mean, not who's DKK. Who donated that? I need to know who donated it. <laughs> Hi, Wavy. My name is DKK. Shut up, bro. <laughs> no, it's not. That's not your name, bro. All right, all right, all right. Happy 4th of July. Hey, happy 4th, guys. H.H. <clears throat> Madsen? Who's that? Is that uh, Ramona? Is that the person who donated? Oh, yeah, all of you guys are spamming it. Okay, H.H. Madsen. Well, hey, H.H. Madsen, thank you very much. That's a very kind donation, and it's very appreciated. Sorry for the confusion, too. All right, well, you learn something every day, okay? DKK is uh, Denmark currency, apparently. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I'm seeing... Dude, wait a minute, what? No way, bro. You made two donations? Is that HH Madsen again? Or because now all it tells me is DKK, so I don't know who did the second donation. Okay, HH Madsen, can you please find more ladies? Joking. If you do, I will sure donate. Happy Fourth. <laughs> Listen, I can't just find them. I, I don't, you know, like. I appreciate it. Trust me, I really do appreciate it. But I don't know where they are. You know, like, let me see. I mean, 
I wish I had one around me. I can hold on. We got a midnight though. Wait a minute. Today all the midnights are, are out in full force. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Full throttle, baby. Full throttle right there. What a beast, bro. What a beast. That guy will be in South Beach in about three minutes. At that speed, he's gonna be at South Beach, like probably, nah, more like three to five minutes. I don't even think three minutes is possible, but five, five minutes, probably four or five minutes. Oh boy. Anyways. Hey, well, anyways, thank you again for the, the second donation. You're way too kind. I wish I had some uh, girls joking to show you, but uh, <laughs> today, you listen, some days this place is packed and then other days there's no girls. You know, that's just how it is. Maybe later on there will be some, I don't know. Wavy, I have 500 DKK, let's party tonight. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, that's gonna become a thing right now, you know, 500 DKK. Bro, when I saw that, I, I mean, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? No way. Oh boy. Anyways. How long has uh, have I been streaming for, guys? Hmm. Let me see something. The sandbar boys, the world famous Hallover Inlet sandbar. This guy's beeping at the jet skis, bro. He's he's losing his patience with the jet skis. Oh my god, it's so hot out here, guys. It is brutal, brutal. Look, look at these people. Look, look. They got an umbrella. They're filming with an umbrella, guys. It's that hot out here. Anyways, let me turn away from the sun a little bit so I can I can read your comments. Dara wants to know, what's the deal with the sport fishing boats having blacked out windows, uh, the front windows? I don't know. I don't know. I guess the sun glare, maybe. I don't, I don't know. wavy top lifeguard <laughs> I'm on the scene bro let's see Dixie sent a super chat hold on let me see I'm sorry Dixie there's been so much confusion with the whole DKK thing our systems are <laughs> are overloaded let's see hold on oh TJ wait is that TJ or hey TJ th thanks for the thanks for the 10 buddy I really appreciate that so much thank you man Dixie came in with the, what's the conversion on 79 cents, guys? <laughs> Dixie, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Happy 4th to you. Dixie, Dixie wanted to make sure I didn't forget her. No problem, brother. Right on, man. Thank you. I love this sporty, bro. Look at this sporty. It's so nice. Such a nice boat, man. Bo 
Volts versus Waves. What's up, Z? Mike and Boca? Yeah, we called them up a little bit ago. We put them on speaker, so you guys heard Mike and Boca. He says uh, it's, uh, it's kind of like how it always is, really, like traffic, lots of traffic, then it slows down, and then lots of traffic again, and then it slows down. That's how Boca works. All right, let's see, we got a, what do we got here? We got a police officer coming out. Wait a minute, bro, what is this, bro? This, this, oh my God. So many people in there. Guys, I'm gonna go live stream at Boca one day for you, okay? Because I want I want you guys to see. Like I said, you guys can see it by by uh, going to the channel or going on YouTube and searching Boca Inlet. But I want you guys to see it live because there's a lot of traffic over there, and it's just something different. It's very different from all over. It's a different crowd, but you still have the party crowd over there because there's a, uh, you got Lake Boca right as soon as you enter and you make a right, you got Lake Boca, which is a party spot. H.H. Madsen, bro, that's crazy, bro. Oh my God. Is this $100? Now you got to show me those ladies. Wait, hold on. Now you got to show me those ladies. That was all dudes in that boat. <laughs> but in that count, do better. <laughs> bro, this is turning into your live stream now, bro. Are you kidding me? Like, dude, I don't, I don't see the ladies. That's the problem. There's no ladies. I would show them to you, but they're, they're, not, they're not here. I mean, I think I see a lady. Hold on. Let me see something, bro. I got, you know, this guy's giving me 100 like over two hundred dollars now. I mean, no, bro. Those are kids. I can't. You know. Uh, I don't know what this is, but hmm. I can't tell. But I mean, she can tell. <laughs> so let's go this way. You see what I mean? There's no ladies here today. I mean, there's some, but. There's not a lot. I promise if I see something, I will definitely film it. I promise. I'll keep my eyes open. Whew. Bro, I swear, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go to the gas station or something, bro. I need to get some cold water. Cause this water that I have is already hot, guys. Anyways, hey, well, H.H. Madsen, thank you so much for the donation. That's, that's incredible, really. Like, I was not expecting that, so really caught me off guard there. Thank you. Wavy has an OnlyFans site. <laughs> hey, we've thought about that, by the way. But I'll be honest, guys, that, that, you know, the raunchy content, nudity stuff, that's not really, that's not really our style. Um, I don't know. It's just that content doesn't really do it for us. Listen, there's, there's, um, some of you may not know this, but there is some legal implications involved with filming somebody even if they're in public, okay? Because I'm very well well versed with public photography, okay? And I know that there is no expectation of privacy in public and all of that. I know that. But when you use someone's likeness, okay, um, in a way like nudity, like when nudity is involved, things change a little bit, okay? So this is not only just telling you guys, this is for anybody that has an idea of like, doing an OnlyFans or 
and uh, filming like girls, like girls gone crazy type of thing. If you do that on, uh, sorry, I'm keeping my eyes open here. If you do that on any place like on OnlyFans or anything, you make money off that. That person, that person could take you to court. There, there is some legal implication there. There's a case already on this that I that I was reading. I forgot what case it is. Oh, wait a minute, bro. Wait a minute, bro. Bro, 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 bro. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back, bro. Look at this guy, dude. I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna record this. Look at this guy, bro. Ooh. Let her eat, bro. Just just let it let it eat, dude. I have some people here trying to get my attention next to me, but I'm on this midnight, dude. Can't you see? Oh boy. Oh my God. We got the pontoon, guys. We got the pontoon. Swearsy baby, thank you for the donation. Shout out to my glands watching hands made tail. Oh man, I actually think my girl wants to watch that. Or she might have already watched it. I don't know. I appreciate you though. Thank you for the donation. Wait, what bro? Did I am I missing? Oh no, there we go. Okay. Anyways, guys, yeah, like the OnlyFans thing, don't, don't think that we can just go to, you know, Biscayne, Key Biscayne and film topless girls and put them on. Let me tell you, they can definitely do something about that, guys. It's not the same when you're filming somebody in public, you know, in a, in a situation where their behavior is normal or they're, or they're dressed, right? Even if it's not normal, they can be screaming, arguing, all that doesn't matter. But once the clothes come off, it's a little different. It's a little different. So that's why an OnlyFans site isn't really something that we're looking at. We looked at it already and we decided that not only, not only from our own research, but when we spoke with our attorney about it, the feedback that they had was not, was basically made it a no-go. And it's understandable, I mean, come on. Think about it, you know, a chick can be having a great time and, and be nude and, you know, she's living in that moment, but, you know, it's different when you have an audience of 250,000 subscribers and, and you're plastering it all over the internet and it goes viral, you know, that's very different. Don't worry, he was joking about it. No, well, I mean, I, even if he was joking about it, that is something that we've gotten comments on. So I kind of just wanted to clarify anyway. It was a joke, YouTube will slam you, don't do it. It was, no, I know, I know, I, I got that. I got the message, you're joking. But still, people have, have uh, suggested that we do an OnlyFans. Just giving you guys a little insight on, uh, on why we choose not to do that. Oh boy, oh boy. What do we have here, guys? Is that the release? It is. some guy standing like right behind me like right up on me too I don't know man I don't know personal space bro what's going on <sighs> da, 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 da. anyways all right guys hold on hold on Bro, bro, bro. 
What? I love this channel though. Nautilus official. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Water looks so calm. I thought a hurricane was coming. I'm no wacko, says. I know, brother. I know. This is what it looks like over here before a hurricane uh, comes on Tuesday. Like, that's what I was saying. We're expecting a hurricane on Tuesday, right? Like, that's when, uh, when it should impact us. I don't know, guys. It doesn't really look that crazy. He knows you got all that DKK <laughs> to mug you. No, man, I don't have any DKK, all right? <laughs> that DKK, man, that thing threw me for a loop. Oh, my goodness. Greetings, greetings from where? Hesperia? Okay, I never heard of that place. Greetings, what's up, brother? Welcome. They say it won't impact Miami or Broward County. Oh, guys, you know what? Since there's a thousand people in here, let me, let me get this out real quick, guys. If the hurricane does come, okay, should I live stream over here? Obviously, I'm not going to live stream during the hurricane, but I will live stream before the hurricane, like, officially hits. You know, like, right in that window where I better get my butt home. You guys want to see that? You want me to live stream all over? I mean, I don't know if there'll be any boats out there, guys. There, sometimes there is. There has been. There has been some boats. Okay, I'll do that, guys. If the weather allows, like, you know, the thing is, I'm not gonna lie, I've gotten extremely wet before doing that. I mean, I've been standing here getting drenched, guys. Water just coming down on me, 30 miles of wind blowing in my face. Oh my God, bro. Dude, is that guy getting baptized over there? I just saw this dude go up and down. What, what is going on over there? What's going on right here, too? Oh, he overtakes the midnight, overtakes. He's creeping up on number two. The midnight takes the lead. There you have it, guys. He wants that smoke. Oh yeah, he wants that smoke. Right. What do we got here? Baby boats, you got a donation, bro. Dude, I know, bro. I got, I'm going to get to it. I got to get to it. <laughs> you guys are checking me now, too, huh? That's funny. That's funny. All right, let's see here. Oh, my God, bro. What, what is this? What, could somebody tell me where this is from? All right, we got this $20 could be $1,000 for all I know, guys. I don't know. You got money coming from everywhere. All right, we got a, we got a GA. I can't see because of the glare, guys. Looks like we got a GA $20 from Ann Kermit or Sermit. Love the channel and the beautiful boats. Watching from Fort McCurry, Canada. Okay, so that's Canadian. Happy 4th of July to you. Thanks. Happy 4th of July to you as well. Let's get these people over here, guys. Hey. Thank you for the donation. Really appreciate it. What's $20 Canada in, uh, in America? Is that, that can't be 20 bucks American. Is it?
way we got that. Oh, look at the wrap, guys. Check out the wrap on this boat. What do you, guys, tell me on this Donzi. You like the wrap or you hate it? Let me know. We got a nah in the chat, ugly in the chat, hate it. Oh, oh, oh. You guys are not liking the rap, huh? Hey! <laughs> oh my god. So you guys don't like the rap, huh? Oh, guys, you know what? I spoke with, um, Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, bro. Is that who I think it is? Is that, is that him? Is that Benja? Guys, I think this is Benja, the local artist. He's a, he's a musician. Oh yeah, that's him. Shout out to Benja Music, guys. Awesome, awesome music, check him out. That's him right there. Benja Music. B-E-N-J-A-H. You guys gotta let me know if a donation comes in, okay? Because we got, the thing is we got a lot of glare here, guys. So it's hard for me to like look at the screen sometimes. But also not only that, we got, um, excuse me. We have also uh, boats and stuff, you know? So. Uh. Oh, oh, the stuffing. Wait, wait, the stuffing? No, no, never mind. They're safe. They're safe. Don't lie, bro. That that bow line looked pretty close to the water. You I know you guys saw it. Dude, I'm going to put my hoodie on because it is it is hot. I think it's over 92 right now. It was 92 earlier. I think it has to be over 92 right now. Busted. I know, right? I got busted, dude. Luckily, it's my right, right? <laughs> That's what I tell people. It's like, hey, listen, call the cops. It's my right. But actually, you know what? I haven't had to tell anybody that. Nobody's really confronted me or come up to me ever talking about I can't film them or anything like that. Not the, not the Teal Grady. Wait a minute, bro. Hold on, I see, see a little bit of uh, violence. Are we gonna have a baptism or no? We haven't had a baptism today. It's been for all intents and purposes, it's been pretty dry. Oh, 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 This guy wants to be seen, okay? He's got, he's got the roar. Oh my God. Is that the, is that the bow rider special? Let me look at the chat. Yeah, I don't want to ignore you guys. Calm today. Yes, indeed. It's calm. 90 degrees here in Michigan. Woo, Michigan. But you guys never get that weather. Enjoy it, man. Go to Torch Lake and jump in the water. Uh, land of the free. That's right, brother. Don't forget it. Very grateful. Very grateful to be here in the land of the free. What is this guy doing, bro? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Here we go. Yeah, nah, he got down. He got, he, he's good, he's good.
Oh boy, guys. I don't know how long, how, does anybody see how long we're streaming for or you can't tell? All this glare, man, jeez. Anyways, okay, Ponce Inlet, Ponce Inlet. Is that the wide one? I think it's a little too wide. It doesn't have the uh, proper conditions for us to film there and get what we're looking for. Um, Fort Pierce Inlet, listen guys, we've been to every inlet. We've been to every inlet in South Florida, uh, a little bit north of, of Miami, uh, north of Fort Lauderdale. We've been to Boynton, we've been to Sebastian, we've been to Venice, we've been to Fort Pierce, we've been to Hillsboro, Jupiter, Boca. We've been to all the inlets, guys. Destin, Clearwater, like, trust me, we've scouted everywhere, guys. If there's an inlet that's worth filming, we visit it, but it just didn't meet the criteria. Right now, at this moment, in my opinion, in my personal opinion, which some disagree with, okay, maybe many disagree with, I don't know. I think that there is about three to four inlets that are worth filming, maybe five. One of them is worth filming, but the angle is so tough to capture. We've tried it, we've had a lot of problems with it. It's tough, that's why nobody films there. But the action is worth it and it's good. You know, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, but right now it's, uh, what's going on here? Did they drop something? Got the baby on board with the floaties. I think they dropped something, guys. What'd they drop? I don't see anything in the water. Hmm. I don't know. It must be worth it if they're turning around. Oh, I don't know, guys. I don't know what they dropped. So they're coming back. Um, I'm looking around, let me see. Okay, so we got, I think this yellow fin's coming in. I don't know, if it's a yellow fin or not, maybe. Look from, look like a yellow fin from afar. It's not, it's an invincible, my bad. Ahí va el doctor, el doctor. Oh, bro, look at this guy, bro. This guy's flying in here on that intrepid, dude. Oh, hold on, we got another one, we got another one, we got another one, boys. Oh, there he goes. What is this, guys? What is this? Okay, is this an Everglades? I think this is an Everglades, guys. 435 cc, maybe. Pretty sure that's what that is. The good old Everglades 435 cc, boys. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. Let me go see, because there's a, a donation. I've been warned. I don't see it though. Damn, it must have been a while ago. I'm scrolling. Where is it? Are you guys sure? I don't, oh, wait, wait. No, the last donation. Oh, look at, bro, look at Red Top. I'm missing Red Top. Look at the legend, bro. I knew it. I knew we were going to get the legend, dude. Somebody asked earlier. I'm telling you, man. It's like an everyday thing with this guy. And the best part is he doesn't know about us. He doesn't know about the cameras. He doesn't know about any of us. 
He's just a legend in his natural habitat. Yeah, guys, the last little donation I see here was the one that I saw, the, the $20 Canadian one. Well, these guys are getting after it today. Do you see any axopars rolling through the inlet here in Europe? They're quite popular. Angelos wants to know. Yes, um, axopar is pretty popular here as well. Uh, I mean, we, we do see them. We see them from time to time. I've seen about three of them today. So they're here on the live stream too. I mean, I recorded them. If you go back, you can see them. What happened to the guy that was filming over here? I don't know that guy. Uh, that guy. I have no idea who that is. Maybe, maybe it's just because he's kind of far. Maybe I do know him. It looks like he's packing it up or changing batteries or something. I don't know. Oh boy. Looking around, looking around. Bro, it is non-stop today, dude. It's non-stop over here. What's a film? The left, the right? I mean, we got so many. We got boats coming from the right, from the left. Oh, my God. They're screaming, bro. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, they're screaming. The Bow Rider special. <laughs> guys. Oh my God, this music, bro, it's so loud, guys. I don't know. I don't want to get hit with the uh, with the copyright music strike. Guys, it's non-stop today, let me tell you, okay? We it's the traffic today is just on another level. Oh, we got some people working out over here, doing some exercise. Um was doing exercise. Woo! Oh, hold on, hold on, bro. Look at the cop. Look at the cop. All right, look at the cop. Look at the cop. The cop's coming in with a nice line, guys. Hold on. He was, he was booking it. He was booking it. Hey, I think we got another donation, guys. Thank you so much for the donation. Uh, I'm, it looks like it's HH. Where the, where the hell's the cop? Oh, there he is. HH Madsen, if that's you again, thank you so much. You're the, the DKK special. Oh my God, bro. That emergency though. Dude, dude. Oh my God, it's brutal over there, guys. It is brutal, but not as brutal as this damn jetty, guys. It's so hot, so unbelievable hot. It's so hot, it's hotter than it's ever been. Trust me, I know how hot it is. I know heat, I know heat better than anyone. All right, let's see here, let's see, what do we got? Stop it, Wavy, stop it, stop it, bro. Stop it. I need some music to play on the live stream, bro. This is like, right here is why we play that music. You better work, work it out, work it, girl. We got some other jetty visitors. That's the, the hat of all hats right there. It's a beautiful day, boys. It's a beautiful day. They want the throne. 
Who wants to throw him, bro? I'm getting a call. I cannot take this call right now. If you're watching the live stream, I'll call you back. I will call you back. We got the CV, the ultimate. Guys, we have something over there. Let me see. It looks like he's kind of ripping it this way, too. What is that? What is that? Time to go out. You own the inlet. <laughs> Tell who to go out. You talking about Red Top? Hey. Puckman Buck, Buckman Buck or Puckman Buck? I can't tell because of the glare. Buckman Buck. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, because I'm trying to film this boat and read the donation. Walworth of Finn, bro, and DDK is the king. The Rifto king, right? The Drift king? Thanks for the donation, Buckman. I appreciate it, brother. Came through with the fiber. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What is this? Got to grab onto the hat, the elusive hat. You know how many hats there must be at the bottom of the inlet, guys? Hey, there you go, guys. They're waving at you. There's a tripod in the way, but you can see the banner, boys. Wavy boats. It's beautiful. Anyways. Hey, you know what, guys? I think next time I'm going to have to bring the cooter, bro. I'm barely holding on right now, okay? I need I need cold ice water in my, vein, in my system. I mean, I'll buy a water out here if any, but you know, they don't, that's the thing, man. Ball Harbor, they don't want to, they don't have any vendors out here. I understand why. It brings a different element and a different vibe. But, geez, man, that would really help. Hey, John, really appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much for the 25, man. John, you're the man. Thank you, brother. Bro, what is what is going on, bro? This, what's going on with that pontoon, man? Woof. Oh boy. The pontoon. Gotta be careful with the pontoon, dude. That other makeshift one that came out earlier. I don't even know. I thought that thing was going down for a minute. All right, all right. Anyways, hey guys, just want to take a moment and let you know and just really appreciate all the donations, guys. Um, I know we had a lot of fun with it, but I really do appreciate it, guys. Wherever you're from and whatever you donate, that's, that's awesome. Thank you. Oh, what's coming in? What's coming in? Whoops, sorry, guys. I got my mic caught. One second. The CV boys. All right, one second while I adjust. Let me adjust the mic. One second. Okay, 
Okay, I think we're good there. I think we are good, boys. Oh, look at this guy, bro. Who is this? Who is this? Who does this guy think he is? This is a big boy, a big boy. Say hi to Maddie, M, and Jody, and Dave forever. What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for the donation, Dixie, appreciate it. Wow, look at the size difference, huh? boy anyways guys let me see what, what time is it let me see what time it is let me see what time it is okay uh it is 405 okay okay anyways guys 